Hello everyone and welcome to Cinderful Gaming. I hope you're all doing well, I hope you're all staying safe and most of all I hope you're all fighting that war against the grey. Today's video we've got a start collecting Age of Sigmar war crime video for you and today we're going to be talking about getting started with Thundrix Profiteers and a Caradron Overlords Force. In this video we're going to start by talking about the contents and what all of it does in Thundrix Profiteers. Remembering you can get all the rules for these Underworld Warbands in Warcry of the previous seasons, not the current season in the latest Tome of Champions for Warcry 2021. Um, but after we talk about Thundrix Profiteers, we'll then talk about some units we can add to this warband and then finally show you a little sample warband at the end of a thousand right now to get you started playing some games of Warhammer Age of Sigmar Warcry. And so to begin with, we get five models inside this box set and we actually get a decent amount of points. This is very close to a thousand points or a thousand renown straight off the get-go. Now we've got the cool ability which is Thundrix Profiteer's ability is called Win Recognition and any of your fighters can use this for a triple. A fighter can use this ability only if they're within 6 inch of a friendly Bjorgen Thundrix um, and it is the third battle round or later. That fire fighter can make a bonus attack. So really good late game stuff giving you a bonus attack action is really really cool. Um, just on a bunch of funk, so you really want to make sure you're protecting Bjorg and Thundric until those later turns in the game. Speaking of Bjorg and Thundric, he is an Aether Chemist, so he's got all the cool abilities where he can start to use all the Aether Chemist abilities uh, because he's got the correct rune marks, so he can use sorry, isolation to negate attacks around him, which is pretty cool. Um, so you would definitely be using that in the early turns to definitely keep him alive and stop combat things getting into him. His shooting attack is 3 to 9 inch, 3 attack, strength 5, 2, 5 for its damage. He's got a toughness of 4 and 24 wounds, so he's fairly survival for a good little character. Now, he's backed up, first of all, by Kazgan Draxkill. All of these characters are not quite champions, but better than your average. They've all got a couple of extra wounds on them here and there to represent their like, warriors of renown. Kazgan Draxkill is the Sky Warden with the Sky Pike, a really good combat piece to have access to. He's fast, it means he can sort of rapidly redeploy around the table to where you need him to be. That Sky Pike in combat is two attacks at strength three, uh, three attacks rather, at strength four, two, five. Once again, a 10 inch move just means he's super, super mobile. Uh, and he's even got a little bit of shooting in there with two shots at strength three, one, three for his damage. You then got Dead Eye Lund, who is our Aether Shot Carbine wielding Thunderer up the back, pictured there. Pretty solid stuff. Uh, two shots, fours for his strength, and then two, four for the damage. Then you've got Enric Ironhail, who is the one that holds the Aethermatic Volley Gun, uh, which is a six-shot weapon. Strength 3, 1, 3. Can really do some damage if this thing starts spiking. And then we've got Garrett Allenson, who is our just generic sort of Arknaut Company. Nothing too special to write home about. You're remembering both our Arknaut Company at the front as well only have a toughness of 3, while everyone else is rocking that toughness of 4. But a really solid start. This has got a really good layout for just a really good starting warband. You've got a good combat hero, you've got a nice big support piece, and a good strategy to sort of work off. Good firepower in many different forms of like, you know, lots of uh, quantity over quality, and then a couple of quality shots coming out of the Thunderer there that is Dead Eye Lund. But where do we go to next? Well, speaking of combat, that is something you really want to sort of maybe have a couple of pieces in your warband with. And the Arknaut Admiral is the best combat piece you have access to. Um, now, you can obviously get the Endron Master with Endron Harness up to some good combat potential. Um, however, he does require getting some doubles and triples and all of that sort of stuff to really get the most out of him. So the Admiral with his 3 attack strength 4, 1, 4 is really solid at his shooting already. And he's got 4 attacks in combat at strength 4, 2, 4. 4 for his toughness, 25 wounds, a really solid combat character. Um, if you're looking to put an expensive piece in your force that's really going to do some damage in combat, this is the guy for you. Now, the great thing about Caradron Overlords is they've got so many options in many of their kits that by buying three simple boxes, you're going to have so many options to play around with in Warcry. A box of Thunderers, a box of Arcanaut Company, and a box of Skywarns or Engine Reviews will just give you so many options to play with in uh, your Warband. And so, Grunstock Thunderers, they have quite a few different weapon options available to them. Uh, first of all, you're going to look at the Grin Grunstock Thunderers, and the first one they've got is the Deck Sweeper. This puts out five shots at strength four, one, three, and then you've got the Aether Shot Rifles, or which we talked about already. Lund's got an Aether Shot Rifle. Uh, 
We then have the Etheric Fumigator with three attacks, strength five, two, four. We've got the Grunstock Mortar, which is a three to ten inch range, three shots, strength four, three, six for its damage. Really solid there. And the Aether Cannon, three to ten inch range, and two attacks, strength five, four, eight for its damage. Really, really powerful, but you really start paying for those points at the end there. You've got 12 wounds on Toughness 4, paying 175 points. It's really risky. You need to be really careful when using Thunderers. They can do a lot of damage, but they do require being put in the right places at the right time. Looking at our Arcanaut Company instead, you can obviously go for your Champions as the same you could for your Grunstock Thunderers. Um, but you've got the options of having the normal sort of a pistol and Arcanaut Company, which is pretty stock standard, but it is 65 points. This gets you a cheap couple of cheap bodies in your unit. And then you've got the Arcanaut Company with the Athematic Volley Gun, same as we've talked about already uh, as having Enric Einhell, the six-shot gun. And then you've got the option to take a Light Skyhook, which is a 2-5 damage weapon at strength 4, two shots. Uh, and then you've got the Skypike, which is a combat weapon, three attacks, strength 4, 2-5 in combat, a good, solid, cheap combat option at 80 points. Lastly, we have Skywardens and Engine Riggers. These two come in the same box, and generally I sort of prefer sky wardens over engine riggers i think sky wardens can do a little bit more with their minds they can definitely make use of your quads more um engine riggers generally are a little bit better in combat um but your sky wardens generally will do that little bit more um i feel and so i really like the grapnel launches they've got a cool ability where they can sort of teleport around the table with their grapnel launches uh personally my favorite one to go with now, looking at our little warband we put together, we've got a single leader in here in Bjorn and Thundering. Like I said, there's a lot of points already inside those models. In fact, it's over 700 points. It's over three quarters of your 1,000-point warband inside that box, which is great, meaning you need to get very little to add on. Now, we've obviously got Kazrak, Draxkewer, Deadeye Lund, Enric Einhauer, and Garrett Allenson. Uh, we've gone for another Arcanaut Company with Aethematic Volley Gun in there. I really just like the amount of firepower they can put out. When they spike, they just do tremendous damage for the game. Uh, Skywarden with Grapnel Launcher, definitely my personal favourite. I like it with, instead of the Endron Rigger with Grapnel Launcher. Uh, they're both really, really solid though. Now, if you were to change this up, potentially, I'd be thinking maybe trying to get like Garrod Allenson out of there and dropping that Aethematic Volley Gun and maybe trying to get in a, another Thunderer. You could probably drop Deadeye Lund and go for a more specific Thunderer as well um, in there if you did that as well, which is pretty cool. So that's probably where I would go to change this up. But it is 995 right now, so you almost used everything we have access to. 112 wounds is pretty light on wounds, though. But remembering, we have Toughness 4 across the board, which is pretty solid for a Warcry Warband. Well, that's the end of the video. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, let us know down in the comments below what you enjoyed about it. If you'd like to come chat more with me and other members of our little fine community here at Sinful Gaming, you can do so by joining our Discord server, which is linked down in the video's description. And lastly, if you'd like to help support the channel financially, you can do so by joining either our Patreon or YouTube members. Our YouTube members will get access to some cool little emojis you can use during live streams and also to comment on some of our posts and on our videos with, and you'll get your name with a special little icon on it as well on YouTube. Our Patreons and YouTube members will also get a name up in a special colour in our Discord server as well. And finally, you'll get a shout out from us as well on Patreon or YouTube members at the end of every video that you have helped support. Thank you to our Patreons, Christian Weir, James Soren, Greenskins Gaming, AJC, Kenny Lowell, Outer and Shop First, Andrew Bowen, Nathan Fee, The Rising Ape, Kure Dynamic, Agu, Anthony B, Anton Nielsen, JJ Austrian, Average Wargamer, Domir, Mark Harvey, and James Cater. And a special thanks to our YouTube members, Green Roots Gaming, Kenton Young, Chris Wallace, Ronya, Vinny, Locklorick, The Johnny84, David Ellsworth, Revenar, Wolfred Nick, Broken Shelf, Adriana Edwards, and Sean Scott. And a special thanks to, first of all, Lady Witchfox Art, who does all the amazing artwork in see pictured here for the channel, and to Exmorphic, who does all the amazing background work for the channel. And that's it from us today. Please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down on the video below. Stay safe, everyone. Stay well, and most of all, keep fighting that war against the Grey. Ciao for now.